Welcome back everyone. As most of you know, iOS 15 actually brought a really cool feature, which was Safari extensions. So I'm going to break down a couple of the cool ones that I saw. There's a lot that are paid, which is kind of weird. I wasn't expecting those many to be paid, but these are the free ones that I saw that are pretty cool. These will all be linked down below if I remember. If not, actually I probably won't link them because Google and YouTube sometimes bans links, which is weird. So the first one we're going to hit on is Momentum. Now, this is kind of an interesting specific, you know, extension because it doesn't add any crazy capability. It just changes your start page. So, you know, when you go onto Safari, normally you open it up and then, you know, it's usually not this page. It's like your, you know, tab page. It shows you your reminders and favorites and all those stuff. Well, uh, this one, so this one actually replaces your start page. So now when you go, you know, take a new tab and everything, it now replaces it to this one, which I actually think is pretty cool. Now you can see it still shows you the links that you normally would have. So you can add new links here if you want to, things like you know the Apple website, whatever else you want to go ahead and add, you can add there. There's a search bar. So this is a Google search tab. So you can go ahead and just search up on Google straight from here, which is really cool. You have the time right here. You have your weather right there, which is really cool. I guess this little, you know, you have your date and time and all this stuff, but you have, you know, what is your main focus for today? I guess this is kind of like a productivity thing. You can kind of make a reminder or something like that. And here's a to-do list, so maybe that has something to do with this. You have a little quote right here, and I think you can customize pretty much everything about this. So you can still have a bookmarks bar if you want to. So you can add that right here. So maybe some features of this are paid, maybe you have to log in. But this is really one of my favorite extensions that is actually pretty cool. Now another one which is actually pretty cool is HyperWeb. So and this one is essentially almost exactly, there's a couple of these type of apps on the specific extension store. So if we go ahead and make our way over to settings and we make our way over to Safari and once we download it, we can go into extensions and as long as we have it enabled, so as you see we have this enabled, sometimes you may have to go into your tab bar right here. You may have to open up a tab, click on your little bottom bar here, and sometimes you do have to click on that specific extension and allow it. So you can see it shows that it's allowed. So let's go ahead and try opening up this specific application once more. So let's go and click open. And for some reason it's weird, I guess it's not working anymore as it was working like 10 minutes ago. But typically you would click, I've done steps one, two, and three. And this specific application actually allows you to do a couple of different things, which is actually pretty surprising. So it's mainly a content blocker, but it does allow you to have things like, you know, dark web and some auto enhancements as well, which is pretty cool. But there is another specific, you know, extension that I actually prefer more, which is called Pretty Web. And this one allows you, I, I found this dark mode to be a little bit more, I guess, more common and a little bit working a little bit better. So you still have odd ad blocking if you want to. I kind of wouldn't recommend it. You can change up the background of your specific start page as well if you'd want to. You can change the search engine, which I'll show you in a second. But the dark mode setting of this specific one I think is better than the dark mode of the other one. So if we go and get a new tab, and this is ex essentially what it replaces your start page with, which is something I don't like. I actually prefer this one a little bit more. But you can see with every single page that you go to, it is actually dark mode enabled, which is cool because I don't have dark mode enabled natively. You can see everything is pretty much on light mode. You now pretty much have that capability now that if you want to, you can go and go to these other pages pages and it'll all pretty much be dark mode which is something I actually do like and I prefer this a little bit more than the other one. Now the last one is called Honey and I think most of you know this by now. It's essentially an extension that saves you money. Now this is not you know paid or anything which is funny because this is like something I see so many ads for. It was another free option so this is the only other one I could find that was kind of cool that we already didn't cover. So again, this one pretty much just finds deals and stuff for you. So if you go around, as long as you have enabled over here, you'll essentially go ahead and be able to just, you know, get notified, hey, there's a cheaper option here, there's a cheaper option here. And you can pretty much just get, you know, save money as you browse the web and shop for things. So I think that's another cool option. Like I mentioned, those are some of the free ones that I found. There's probably more that are probably going to come up very soon. But yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. The like button helped me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.